This is Bear. He doesn't know it's Christmas, but he taught me what Christmas is all about. Everybody loves Bear. I love Bear. I loved many dogs in my life. Before Bear, there was Otis. And before Otis, there was Orion. And before Orion, there was Prince. And before Prince, there was Spiffy, my dad's dog back in 1940 or so. They say Christmas is about the victory of love over death. All these dogs taught me about love, and the first one, Prince, taught me about death. I was a kid, and suddenly he was gone. I came to understand this happens to all dogs, and I decided I was never going to have a dog again. This was way too painful. But of course, I changed my mind, or a dog changed my mind. We don't want another dog just after one has died. Like a woman just after giving birth is not immediately excited to do so again. But after a time, pain starts to fade and love prevails. Christmas is about the victory of love over death. I fully expect to see all these dogs again at the Rainbow Bridge when I die, but that's not what I'm talking about. That's not what dogs taught me. Dogs taught me about the victory of love over death today and every day. I don't know what comes after life. I'm not sure what's going to happen tomorrow. Bear taught me about now. The only thing animals know, and perhaps after all, the only thing that really is, that and love. At Christmas, it seems to me that the happiest people, and all dogs, know that faith and hope is for now. A fire in the darkness that keeps us warm now, no matter what comes later after life. Christmas is for now. Love as fire and light. All the rituals of Christmas, the lights, songs, serve to remind us of the victory of love over death, which we fight to achieve every day of our lives in all the little things, choosing kindness over cruelty, wisdom over ignorance, caring over apathy, peace over conflict, hope over fear. Despair and doubt never got anyone anywhere beautiful or meaningful. These are the foes we defeat over and over again, especially at Christmas. Is it all meaningless and finite? Or is it all beautiful and infinite? Yes, however you choose. Let your dog help you to make the right choice. Watch your dog sleep. Watch him eat. See him when you come home after a day away and he acts like you're a soldier coming home from World War II. If you lay dying and were given a few minutes to go back in time, these quiet moments of happy peace would be where you want to go. Make money, do your best to have a career, to stay in shape, to get and give love or whatever else you want to do. But believe me, there's nothing you could do which is less a waste of time than watching your dog sleep. Once, when I was feeling very brokenhearted, a voice in my head said, everything is a waste of time, especially love. But then another voice said, no, love is what time was made for. Dogs, sweet creatures that know nothing of time, tell me the same thing without words. Christmas is about the victory of love over death. Now, today. Merry Christmas, everyone. From me and Bear.